and welcome back to another live tonight we are on a couple different platforms maybe even three and we're going to be talking about things like drc now the last couple streams that i've done you i've taken the little drc cars and i've showed them to you and i had some brand new ones that i've never driven before well guess what i've driven almost all of them now and so i have some data to report and it's looking pretty good now before i really get too far into this if you're watching, can you hear me? Is the sound crappy? I just put a new mic in. It's raining like there is no tomorrow right now. And, uh, you know, I just don't know how it sounds. I'm checking with some of my viewers, see if I get any feedback. Nothing yet. So just let me know. What's it sound like? But what we're going to be talking about is a DRC and this is going to be the first little car we're going to talk about is the DRC 9300 this is like a I think it's a 6 8 scale one of my favorites you can see it's been worn for worse but it's takes a licking keeps on chicken nice little car we took these to a skate park I got a bunch of footage of these things cruising around and stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you probably the next couple days because I have to edit everything to make it somewhat interesting because apparently when I switch to videos it's quite boring because whoever's watching my live they just start dropping out like crazy so I gotta make those uh, short and sweet that way you can kind of uh, get the gist of it but uh, let's see here oops looking for feedback sorry I'm not just Trying not to be too distracted. Get over to my comments. Nope. I'm just all alone. I got one body, one person watching on Amazon. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go ahead. This is it right here. You can see it's uh, full of dirt. I have a towel on my uh, tabletop to catch all the sprinklings that are going to fall out of these things. And like I said, we were ramping this thing up. We were going up six feet in the air and just hitting the ground and tumbling and crashing. We never broke anything on this little car. It just uh, took a quite quite a little beating. And it's slightly bigger, brother. Or I'm going to say it's um, more athletic than brother is the 302E. I have that one. We're going to be looking at that one. I drove it for the first time and I put the GPS inside so I could see, you know, how fast it went. And it went about 19 miles an hour for a 16 scale car, which is pretty quick. But I hit one of those skate ramps that just shot you straight up, 13 feet straight up in the air, crashing tree branches, did it three times in a row, no breakage whatsoever. So it's a nice, tough little car. But what I'm going to show you, and I hate to be distracted and keep checking my phone. But I'm waiting on feedback on this new microphone. If you're watching Amazon and it sounds like total trash, just let me know. This guy, Raymond Moore. Raymond, can you hear me? Does it sound terrible? Is it staticky? Let me know, buddy. I'm, I'm going over some RC cars today. This is the inside of the little 9300. This is uh, the way I, I kind of describe DRC is you have some more toy grade ones and you have more hobby grade line and this one's going to fall more along the lines of the hobby grade side and the reason why i say that is is you can upgrade the motor you can upgrade the speed control it has steel dog bones and independent front suspension in the front and the rear it's got a steel drive shaft connecting the front to the back and it's just a super tough little car now it is spring only shocks there are no oil inside these shocks What's Raymond saying? Could use a little tuning. Is it staticky 
or is it just like uh, too low? Just let me know. But I can be heard. Can you hear the background music? Is it too low? Is it too high? But this is a brush motor. It's got an upgradable steering servo right here in the front as well. And what's great about DRC is a lot of these parts are available on Amazon. If you need to replace the motor, you just go on Amazon and order one. They do sell replaceable A-arms and things like that. But let me get out this. This is the booklet for it. This is the booklet for what would be 3500E. But I want to show you on this book because it's holds true with all their RC cars. Raspy. Okay, but uh, if you look in the manual, you can see that there are parts and part numbers, and there's even a contact number and an address for the manufacturer. So you can actually go and order any parts that you can't find on Amazon for these little RC cars. Now this one tops out around 17, 18 miles an hour, but for a little bitty car like this, that's pretty quick. Matter of fact, I think every single car I tested was between 17 and 20 miles an hour. So. Very cool, little speedy little guy right here. I have some footage of this thing zooming around. I'm gonna share that with you real quick. Thanks, Raymond. I don't have a proper preamp. That's probably why it sounds a little raspy. I'm actually uh, using something different as a false preamp. My preamp didn't show up in time today. I'm trying to learn about uh, audio. Here, let's check out the little 9300 real fast. This one is the 9500E. Raining a little bit, but we're out in the front yard with the DRC 9300. Okay. Check it out. Roads are slippery. Okay, so what I'm going to do is mute the video because there's no point in hearing my, my voice right. But uh, let's try it out in the grass. If you see, I have the 9300 pulled up, and it you can just click the link on Amazon if you're watching on Amazon. And it's $69.99 for this little car, but I already have a preloaded coupon code in there for another 15% off. So, pretty nice. If you were to spend that little bit of money, on a vehicle, say at like, you know, Walmart or my wife said last to me because I show my age and I say Kmart and I don't think Kmart exists anymore. But hey, when I was a kid, we used to go to the TGNY if that don't put a date on me. But uh, if you were to buy an RC car from there, you're going to spend more money than what you're going to pay for this one. And you're going to get 10% of the car with this one. Because when you buy them at the big box store, they have foam wheels, they have really hard bodies. This has a Lexan race body that's flexible and it's gonna take a beating and it's replaceable. You break one at the big box store, you have no part support, you can't get another body, you just can't get anything for them. It's like a, a one and done type RC, where these, so you have replaceable dog bones, you have replaceable A-arms, you can replace the shock. You can upgrade the shocks to oil filled if you want to. You can put is. a brushless system in here if you really I'm wanted to send anyway. this thing to the moon. And like I said, I've wrecked this thing so many times we were jumping at six feet in the air on concrete, and I have yet to break it. And uh, thank goodness, knock on wood. And it's, you know, a true testament to this because I can break a rock in half without trying. Just that's nope. the way I am. I can fall and break the rock. Anyway. Well, thank you, Raymond, for stopping by. Raymond's watching over there on He's Facebook. I got some. You don't want this one. I mean, I guess you do. Thinner grass. But uh, really this one grass. is half the price of its uh, more athletic brother. But it's more athletic brother. To a point. And what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and kill this little video. I say his grass. I'll have playing on the side here. And uh, 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into the more athletic brother. And that one is going to be the DRC Brushless 302E. Now you can see that there is a 15% on that one as well. It does sell for 159 and you're probably wondering, well, gee, why is that one so much more expensive than this one? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it out and I'm going to show you. Because if you, if you know, I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're in the RC hobby, you know how expensive things to get it. But when you start going into brushless and uh, 3S battery packs and all that stuff, it gets expensive. And let me move this little guy to the side. And you'll realize that 159 and then with 15% off is quite a deal for what you're getting. And this is the one that I was jumping 13 feet straight up in the air three times in a row back to back and i will be sharing that footage coming up on a later stream i just haven't edited it all yet and this is the little 302e now if you're looking at the little body here you're going to see that when you buy this car they give you a second body as well you actually get two bodies this is the one we were running rashing and trashing yesterday but they give you a clear one and you can paint this one on your own. And when you paint these bodies, you just paint them from the inside. You can mask off your windows. You paint your body color. You peel the windows off. You paint them black, silver, whatever color you want them to be. And kind of what a cool thing is that I saw on YouTube, it was not my idea, but they paint the inside silver and then they paint the outside red, blue, black, whatever color. And then when you wipe out and you go skidding, it takes the paint off on the outside but it doesn't take it off on the inside. And so it gives you the look of silver scratches running down your body whenever you get road rash and stuff like that, which gives it like that cool uh, patina effect. And this one, along with all the other DRCs, they do have a full line. Like in this particular one, they give you a nice exploded view of the car. So you know what all the parts are. All the parts are labeled with their part numbers but you also get a full parts list as well with how to contact them via phone number and their address to order the parts that you need. And like I said before, a lot of these parts can be found on Amazon as well. I've seen motors, I've seen A-arms, I've seen screw sets, I've seen the body clips, I've seen all kinds of stuff on Amazon that you can just buy directly to fix these. And that's like I've, I've been preaching, this gives you a leg up on the big box stores. Because I saw a monster truck at, uh, I think it was Target. That thing was like massive. It was this big, had tires this big around. But when you picked it up and looked at it, it weighed like what, like a pound and a half. And the tires were made out of styrofoam. That's not going to last. You know, it's unrealistic. And that thing was over a hundred bucks. It's just crazy to me. But uh, here's a little body. They're painted from the inside. They have these super cool paint jobs. But we're going to get into why this one is the athletic brother to the 9300 and for starters i want to make sure i'm telling the truth here pull the battery out we ain't passing we ain't no snake oil salesman here the 2s battery pack 7.4 volt it is lithium it's just like a lithium pack bag pack i guess you would call it there's a different term for them and you have independent shocks, front and back. The shocks are aluminum body. It has the steel shafts, just like the 9300. It's got the steel drive shaft along the full length of the body, like the 9300. And it has the steel shock in the front. And it does have front and rear differentials, but this is where things start to get a little bit different. You can see you have three wires coming off this motor. That means this motor is brushless. You're going to get a lot more controlled power with this motor and a lot more top end speed. On top of that, I wish I had a closer little camera. I could really get up in here and show you. I, I wish I could really stick the camera up the rear of this car for you. But the output shafts right here for the differentials, you have steel differentials in the front and the back. That's right, they are steel differentials with the steel cups. 
Now we ran and bashed this thing like crazy yesterday and I can't wait to put that footage together and edit it for you guys so you can see it. But I did have one incident with this car and I came off of a ramp funny and I kind of landed at a funny angle and the front wheel locked up and it wouldn't turn. And I was like, oh great, I already broke this thing. But what had happened was, and it, it happens with cars that have the four wheel drive with the front and rear differentials is, the dog bone slightly popped out right here. So I just had to hold the dog bone and twist the tire like an eighth of an inch and it popped back in and it was good to go for the rest of the day. And there's a little tip or trick that you can do. What people will do is they'll take like a small, tiny little O-ring and they'll pull this apart and take that shaft out. And then they put an O-ring in the front cup here and then put the dog bone in. And what that does is that gives it some dampening and forces it to stay further in that cup. Because when this thing's turning and bouncing around, those things are just sliding back and forth. So if you take a little bit of that slide out, you're much less likely to pop the dog bone out. But like I said, it popped out. All I had to do was uh, twist her right back in and it never popped out again. That was the only time. So I guess it was just crazy awkward the way that this thing landed. I'm looking for specs on this motor. I'm curious if what the KV rating is. How many people know what the KV means on a brushless motor? I had to learn that when I started fighting combat robots. Me and my sons, well, mostly my one son does. The other one's not too interested in it. But if you've ever seen BattleBots on TV, we build our own combat robots. We have one pound robots, three pound robots, and even a 12 pound robot. And we go to competitions all over the state. And we probably fight seven, eight times a year really good it's like the only sport you can get into where you can tear up the other guy's toys and he high fives you for it but with that being said hello brandon but with that being said the risk is you could get your toy uh tore up also then uh you gotta hurry up and repair it for the next fight let me see i'm trying to find some specs for you guys if i can find them great if not i'll just share them next time i'll share it next time they give you decent transmitters did you get the item what item is that brandon fishy comics in the house fish is over on the good old youtube what's up fish tell me how's it sound i heard that the uh audio is a little bit uh raspy as it was described to me i'm using a fake preamp to boost this new microphone I don't know if you guys watch DSL, DSLR Shooter on YouTube, but he had a tutorial where he takes a cheap mic and shows you. Brandon, if that's the request about the pool float thing, that's not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, but he takes a, cheap, a cheaper mic and basically pulls the guts out and redoes the wires and puts it inside of a 3D printed housing like this. And uh, I didn't pull the guts out of this yet, but I'm just trying to step it up a little bit to make things sound better, make it seem a little bit more like I know what I'm doing. But, and as you can hear, it's raining pretty good. But this is the, the DRC 302E. This thing was hitting 19, 20 miles an hour at the skate park. Like I said, we hit a, vert a vertical ramp at the skate park and Went 13 feet in the air, bounced off a couple of tree limbs on the way down, hit the ground. I did it three times in a row back to back. Some of the landings weren't so soft and uh, I had no issues whatsoever. DRC makes these things extremely, extremely tough. And like their other vehicles, you can, like this one is definitely on the hobby grade level. You can upgrade the motor. You can upgrade the electronics if you want to. You can put a faster steering server in there if you want to. This already has steel differentials in the rear and the front with the steel dog bones and the steel drive shaft down the center. So there's not a whole lot that <clears throat> you really have to upgrade there. And it's just overall a very fun little car. And like I said, it is 159, but that's money well spent because you're getting a lot for that amount of money. And if you click the link down below, you're gonna get 15% off of that 159. And that puts it cheaper than probably 60% of the cars at Target that are irreparable. And they have things on the box that say, you know, it'll say 100 miles an hour, 
scale speed, which usually translates to 10 miles an hour. They always try to bamboozle you with these uh, fake stats to get you to drop $150 at Kmart on some uh, bunker that's going to really disappoint you and ruin your day. This guy right here, this is like buying a smile. You're going to have fun with this. Parts are readily available. You get uh, two battery packs. You don't just get one. Let's go over kind of the, some of the things you get. Need a tad of base. Let's see. Let me try to do that fish. I'm going to add a little more base. I'm going to come back on the high a little bit. Okay, let me know if that sounds any different. I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. I appreciate everybody's patience with this. So it's, it's a learning process. You get busy because I'm trying to integrate sound effects into the show too, to where whenever I like hold up the car, I can go like, you know, like, wow, it's so, the best thing ever. But if it's not the best thing ever, I'll tell you it's not the best thing ever. And if you want to go spend four or $500 on, you know, like a nice practice or something, you're going to get something faster than this. I don't think it's going to be more rugged, but you can definitely spend a lot more money for more speed. But if you're just getting started, I would say this is a, a, a very good beginner for sure. And maybe even an intermediate level. And the fact you get two battery packs, you get the charger, you get extra parts. Like these are some of the parts that they give you. And this is like, this is what all the DRC stuff, they just do this across the board with all their vehicles. Like I have extra clutch disc in here for the extra disc. I have a whole screw set with the Allen wrench. If you can see that, I don't know if the camera's focusing on all that. You get the tire or the wheel, uh, the wheel wrench for changing tires out. You get extra body clips and body screws. They can even give you a little brush to clean your vehicle, which I haven't utilized this yet. They give you a Phillips screwdriver. I mean, when you go somewhere, <laughs> Brandon, you don't need to apologize. I'm just, uh, I'm a shy guy. I don't, I don't do the swimming pool. I have one in the backyard and I never use it. I, I actually spent 15 years in the oil fields down in Louisiana. I was a commercial diver and I would spend sometimes 12, 16 hours a day in the water. So now I'm like hydrophobic. I just avoid the water. You know, it brings back bad memories of the good old days. But uh, also in here, I'm gonna open this up. I haven't opened this up yet, but this is, you know, another thing that gives cars like this from DRC, it's, it's you're gonna spend less money than you do at these big stores. And I can't reiterate that enough, but look what they give you on the inside. They give you replacement steel gears. This is a differential gear right here. You get two of those. You get two pinion gears. And they also give you two of the plastic spur gears. Who gives you all these spare parts right in the pack? And like I said, we crashed this thing at a skate park. If not, if you don't believe me, just ask Mark. He lives across the street. He went with me. If you know Mark, just send him a message on Facebook. He'll let you know. He's on the uh, want list for one of these as well because... Uh, Brandon wants to explain the request. I used to have a monster beetle about that scale size and it. Let me tell you, yes, it is a heck of a lot of fun. This one's my new favorite. And, uh, you know, like I said, we, we trashed it, trashed it. I jumped it 13 feet in the air more than once, just back to back. Because I really wanted to, I guess I watched too much of uh, Kevin Talbot. I don't know if you know who he is on YouTube, but he's like the uh, eBay millionaire that says things like, I'm going to send it to the moon. And it took a tumble wumble and, uh, you know, things like that. And he just slams them in the walls and slams, like jumps them 60 feet in the air because he has those like thousand dollar RC cars and things. And uh, I guess I'm inspired by him, but I drive it like somebody who's, Never had an RC car is going to drive it. You hold it, you hold the gas down all the way, and you just do your best to steer and keep it under control. And you're going to hit trees, you're going to hit rocks, you're going to 
fly in the air. And that's how I test them because I want to know what's going to break. And so far, I have not had either of these two. I haven't had any of them break on me, but these are the two most tested. And like I said, this is the uh, athletic big brother of this one. This is the brush version. This is brushless. This is the 9300, in case you're wondering. This is the 302E. And the uh, this one's got steel differentials in the front and the rear, and it's brushless. This one's brushed, and it has the plastic gears. But they bo both do have the steel dog bones on all four corners and the steel drive shaft on the center connecting the two uh, differentials. So they're very similar. One's just slightly better, but this one you can get for $70 with 20% off. And you can get this one for 159 and you get 15% off. And they may give you an additional coupon too. Whenever you use that code, I'm not 100% sure. I think I saw something in the memo about a $30 coupon with the 15% off. But uh, don't quote me on that. Hello, Susie. Thank you for joining me and checking out my little live stream. I'm trying to use a new mic tonight. So we're trying to, you know, uh, iron that out. And I had to kind of make up a, a device to get it to work because the one I ordered didn't come in on time. And it's really raining. So you're probably going to hear the storm in the background. Yes, that's true, Fish. My buddy Fishy Comics over on YouTube, he's like my one of my YouTube best friends. When you change out the gear, if you do have to change a spur or a pinion gear, you just simply take a piece of paper and you put it in between the two gears as you tighten everything down, and that's going to give you the proper gear mesh. Because if you put it too tight, it's going to bind up and ruin the gear. And if you put it too loose, then you're going to just strip your gear out and you're going to be starting over ordering parts and all that good stuff. So. But two fun little cars. I don't have any footage of this one cruising around. I'm going to get it out the way. I got to keep everything in its own separate boxes. That way, whenever I present this and show these to you, I don't get the accessories mixed up. Because they are all slightly different. So what we're going to go to next, this is going to be the DRC 9500E. Now, this car is definitely on the level of a toy. It does have some hobby grade parts to it. Excuse me for being rude for a second as I take this out. But this is the 9500E. Susie, 96 degrees. I wish. The other day, uh, I don't know, it was like two days ago. And this is how bad it is. My wife and I, we went to Magic Kingdom because we live fairly close to there. And we go probably two or three times a day, you know, two or three times a month. And of course I had some shirts that I was gonna do reviews on. And so I brought the shirt and luckily it was a dry fit shirt because it was 108 degrees with a, a real feel or a heat index of 118. And it was brutal. But we've had a really good uh, summer this year for sure. Scott, who you probably have seen in the group, he's, he hasn't had rain in so long that he was doing the rain dance today when it finally rained for him, I think. <clears throat> but we're going to get back to these cars. I got this all pulled out now. Let me move all these controllers out of the way. All right, just seeing if anybody update my comments here. Oh, we have one of these. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Some people leave not so nice comments. Anyway, this is the 9500E. It's funny because you get groups that pop into your lives and they leave comments about slaves and prisoners and things like that if, if you're on youtube and you don't see i'll even uh indulge you it says uh 
Free the stream house prisoners. Amazon is allowing Chinese slave keepers to force people to stream in fake studios. <laughs> well, I can pretty much assure you that I'm not in China. Um, I'm definitely not a slave. I'm in America. And their freedom rings, brother. So, anyway... But he's right. He can have his opinion, right? That's a free country. So this is going to be the DRC 9500E. Now, this is more of an entry level. It's $74.99. You, you can get 15% uh, off with a preloaded uh, coupon that I've already put in for you. This does run on LiPo batteries. It comes with a couple battery packs. These little 2S packs. 7.4 volts. They have the nice graphite sticker on them. And uh, I'm going to show you what's unique about this one. It's got a, a feature that's different than most RC cars that you're going to get. And it's got the balloon tires. There's no foam inside. It's got the, the coil shocks in the front. And it's independent suspension in the front. You have headlights. And you also have a differential now, when you switch it to the back, that's where this one gets different and falls more into the toy category. But then again, this one's only $74.99 $74 and you can get 15% off of that. So this is cheaper than most cars you're going to get at Kmart. And I say Kmart because they're no longer open. And uh, it's got the springs in the back, but it's got a straight axle with a differential. It's not independent in the rear. And what makes this one so different is you see these two red things right here. These are heat sinks. And these heat sinks, what they're used for is to keep motors cool in this case. And you have two motors. This one doesn't have a drive shaft connecting the front to the back. This one actually has a motor in the front and a motor in the back. So how cool is that? This thing cruises around, I'm going to have to say it's probably around 18 miles an hour. This is the one I literally jumped off the roof of my house and wiped out pretty badly. And uh, no damage. I flipped it over, kept going. I can even show you that video. Anybody want to see a video of me jumping this off my house? Just let me know. I have it queued up. I'll let, I'll let you see it. The body that comes with it is a nice Lexan body. This is more of a hobby grade thing because these are flexible, they're lightweight, and they're replaceable. If you break one from Kmart, the body's gone. It's just broken. You're not getting another one. They put the roll bar on this one. They have a nice spoiler. It's all supported on the inside with bracing. And they give you plenty of accessories. They give you extra body pins and extra screws. They give you a nice cleaning brush. They give you an extra dog bone, which the dog bones in this one are plastic. I have not broke one yet, but they are plastic. So you should know that where the other ones have steel ones. And they give you the screwdriver for working on it as well. And like I said, I've already showed you this manual a little bit earlier, but they do give you parts. They give you part numbers. You can order parts just like this. They give you the contact information so you can contact them to order the parts. But what's better than that is a lot of these motors and batteries and things like that, things that break more commonly, they're all on Amazon already. So you can just go on Amazon and order the parts that you need. So how cool is that, right? Makes life easier. You can, in some cases, have them the next day or in two days or three days, whatever your normal shipping is. But a uh, nice little car. I'm going to pull up the video real quick. Let me jump in this thing off my roof. And I'll just get the part of it flying off the roof. Let's see what it can do. This one is more of a toy grade one for sure. Or tripod. Running on the roof right there. Let me know if the sound gets wonky. Alrighty. We're gonna ramp it off the roof. Let's see. Let's see We're how it jump up. it. And here we go. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Nice little bash landed right on the nose. And 
ahead and see it. Just perfect. So pretty tough little truck for being toy grade. Pretty cool, right? Being well under a hundred dollars. Full wheel drive. It. Comes I mean, with a couple been, batteries. Quit interrupting me, Steve. But uh I'm gonna let that play for a minute so you can see it kind of cruising around and how fast it is. It cuts through the grass like no tomorrow. All of these cars are cool to drive, and I haven't had any issues whatsoever with them going through grass and tall grass and dirt. Uh, you can usually start cutting donuts and all kinds of stuff with them. They're just a lot of fun. And like I said, for the price on this one, if you're just starting out or if you have a younger, a younger child, nephew, cousin, whoever, and they, they like RC, this would be a really, really good one to get them started. That's all I got to say about this one. It's just overall a nice little truck. I'm going to stick all this stuff back together real quick because we've got a really cool one coming up. And I'm going to use this one for spying on my children. If that doesn't pique your interest. Not that I usually spy on my children, but it's a, it's a little car. I guess I should explain myself. It's a little car. And it has a camera on it and it's a FPV camera. So it looks like you're inside the car when you're driving and you can see what the car sees at its level and it has an intercom in it. So you can pull up to people and be like, Hey, can you move? Get out of my way. You know, cool stuff like that. And so I figure when well, my kids are supposed to be doing schoolwork, my, my children, they do work, uh, work. I guess school is a job, but they, uh, they do homeschool and because they're always on computers for homeschool every time i sneak around the corner they're on youtube or trying to get on discord or all those other things that kids are trying to get into these days and so i have to be really quiet because they hear me coming they hear do the little you know the screen switch real quick like they think that their parents are dumb and we don't know they're switching the screen and that they have histories on their computers but anyway with all that being said uh, maybe I could just use this little car to be creeping around the corner. And here it is, right here. Fun little guy. I haven't actually driven this one yet. But I have opened it up, so we are going to take a closer look at it. Now, this is a toy. No doubt about it. You're not going to take this and win races anywhere. This is for driving around your yard, driving around in your house, and having a good time. It's 59 bucks. And it has a camera on it and you can get 15% off of that 59 bucks. So how cool is that, right? Let me get rid of the, the video so I can end it in. All right, we're back The full size. Here it is right here. And this is it. This is the brow zone. Does it have a name? Other than camera and intercom RC car? Nope, it's just the, the Wowzen camera and intercom RC car. Now, this little dude right here, you can see it's just like a toy. It's got a little springy, you know, suspension in the front and the rear. It has the, uh, it's not proportional steering. So when you turn right, it's going to go all the way right. When you turn left, it's going to go all the way left. It's got a spoiler, but if you look right here, here's an adjustable FPV, which that means first person view camera. So what you do is you take your phone and you stick your phone in this little holder like this. And then you connect the app to the controller or to the car. And when the car is driving around, you can see what the car sees on your phone right here. So you can just like cruise underneath stuff. You can go down the street. You can go check out what might be under your couch. And you can also talk to people through it. So how cool is that? This is going to be a fun little one. I can't wait to do the test on this one. We got rained out yesterday. I, I took, I think it was like nine RC cars. I even have excavators and uh, like a, a big tractor, a big uh, front end loader is what it is. And I plan on getting videos on all these cars. So when I do these lives, because like today I'm doing DRC, tomorrow I might be doing somebody else. But uh, it rained, as you heard it was doing earlier, and I didn't get to test them all properly. Now, this is just a little 3.7 volt car. I don't know how fast it is. I'll let you know that in a future stream. I'll probably play with this a little bit tonight 
so I can actually see how good the video quality is. And I'm going to have that to share with you. I'll download it off my phone and then I can put it on the screen and you can see firsthand what you're going to see from this car because I like to demonstrate, you know, they, they say people like uh, the disgruntled person earlier, you know, I'm not a, a slave streamer locked in a room 24 hours a day, but I do this for fun. I do get products sent to me to review. So the whole point of me sitting here is to show them to you and hope that you buy a product. Now, with that being said and being transparent, if I show you this car, and I tell you, this car does 50 miles an hour. It has an 8K camera and it can go through portals into different dimensions. So you can get the lottery numbers from the future and you buy one. Great. I'm going to make 75 cents, right? But if it doesn't do all that for you and you're disappointed and you return it, well, guess what? I lose 75 cents. So the point of me explaining all that is. I'd like to demonstrate these vehicles to you. I like to show you what they can do so you can make the best decision for you if it's the car that you want. Because if I talk to you into buying something and it doesn't deliver upon what I tell you it does, you return it and I've wasted your time, I've wasted my time, I've wasted Amazon's time, and it's just not good for anybody. So that's the approach I take. I show you what it can do. You decide if you want it or not. I'm not going to lie about its abilities. If I don't know something, then I don't know. Like, I don't know what the camera looks like yet. So I haven't driven it. Does it look cool? Yes. It even has like a little glitter shine to this nice uh, teal bluish colored paint. And I'm sure it's going to be just fine. It's going to be a nice little car. You can see they got the motor and the differential all right here in one little segment in the back. But it's a cool little vehicle. And, uh, Hopefully I'll have more information on this for you soon. It does come with two battery packs. It comes with the battery chargers as well. The only thing that you have to do is put the batteries in the remote here in the bottom. So it's just overall a really cool little car. Now, what we're going to do is I have one here. This is another toy. I do not have a coupon code for this one yet. A DRC. I'm trying to get one. They're going to give me one so I can share it with you guys. Because if you can sit here and let me torture you, then you deserve a coupon code. Where is that car? Hold up. I got to go get it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. By the way, I just got these. Check these out. These are some DJ headphones. Old $31.99 on Amazon. I wish I had a link. I'd share it with you. I just got them today. I'm trying them out for the first time. I tried doing wireless headphones for this kind of stuff. And there was such a like noise level difference between the headphones and what was actually being broadcast. It was giving me nightmares. Ask Susie. If she's still here, she'll tell you. My screen was sound bad. And not just a little bit bad. Like kindergartner trying to do a live stream. But I'm sure there are kindergartners out there that can. But this is the DE69. This is a toy. This is a fun little toy. Actually, my little three-year-old, Colty, he drives this one around. And you can see it has like the Xbox style controller. It's not the pistol controller like some of the others. You get this car for $34.99. And it's got a cool little feature. I'm going to show you this. It's got a bunch of LEDs and stuff on it. Let's turn it on. Hopefully it's kind of charged. I don't know if the battery is even in it. Probably not. I need one of those little screwdrivers. But I want to show you the lights. That's why I'm going through this. I want to show you all the lights that light up on this thing because the whole body lights up. And it's got this little rubber cap on the top. And you can put water inside this thing. And it actually shoots out the back like a jet engine. Kids love it. It's a great little feature. 
I have my screwdriver right here. Bear with me. That's actually a pretty quick little car. It probably goes 12 miles an hour or so. I don't know for sure. I haven't put the GPS on it. That is one thing that I'm doing with all these cars. And I haven't been able to do it with all of them yet. But I'm actually, I bought a GPS unit. It's going to be in the stream if I can find it. And what it does, it tells you altitude. It tells you speed. It tells you how many G-forces are felt. It gives you all the real-time data on the RC car that it's inside at the time. That's why when the other one that I said I was jumping 13 feet straight in the air, that's how I knew because I had a GPS in there. It told me it was going 19 miles an hour and it went up in the air 13 feet before it came crashing down three times in a row. And it didn't break. If you're curious which car that was, like if you're just joining, that was a DRC 302E. The brushless car. Right quick, the little fellow. Ooh, I need the battery. Let me go get the battery. I know where it's at. Bear with me. I got batteries. Man, I walk out for a second and half the half everybody leaves. Why y'all leaving me like that? It's all right. People get bored. It comes with this tiny little rechargeable battery right here in this car. We're gonna go ahead and put it in there really quick. I did just charge this up. Like I said yesterday, we we're out driving all these. And I had my cameras out, I had my GoPro, I had my big camera, I had my 360 camera. I was going to put together these like really cool montages so you can see these things ripping around. And, uh, you know, you get all the way out to the skate park. I'm pulling a wagon with RC vehicles in it so I can do these tests for you. And uh, we're there for just a little bit and it starts to rain. And now I'm hurrying up and I'm throwing all this stuff back in the wagon, running for the shade. Try not to ruin everything. I got cameras. I got cars. But uh, anyway. Here it is, little DE69. It's got uh, all these different light patterns. You can see how it's starting to switch around. That's cool. Let me, uh, can y'all see that good enough or do I need to turn the lights off? I can kill a light for you. Let's make it darker. I can reach it, there. There you go, you have like a solid. You have flashing, blinking, and just solid. So pretty cool, pretty cool little car. All right, let's turn the light back on. Get out of the dark ages here. Do you guys have any questions on the DE69? Do you have any questions on the the DRC302E or the 3500E or the 9300. You can kind of scroll through my little, uh, there's the 6900. I just threw it up there for you guys. Sorry about that. But uh, now this button I think is supposed to activate the smoke. Check that out. We got jet engines, buddy. This thing will go zero to five miles an hour faster than you know what happened. But uh, like I said, it's not super quick, but this isn't made to be super quick. It is full RC, as you can see. But this is for your beginner. This is for your smaller children to get them started in RC. I mean, how many little cars like this have a jet engine in the back? I mean, come on. How cool is that? Like I said, I give this to my three-year-old. It's fast enough to entertain him, but it's not so fast. He's going to break it if he hits something, and he's not going to break somebody's ankle if he hits somebody. Just a fun little car for your smaller crowd. You can see it. Actually, the chassis kind of surprised me on this one because it is four wheel drive. You have motors in the rear and in the front, but you have like a full four link rock crawler type suspension in this. I'm gonna try to flare the light off of it so you can see it. And you can see how much travel you get. This is a torquey little crawler. It's not a high speed car. So it goes through tall grass, no problem. And it has tons of ground clearance. 
it's great on small you know like rocks and things like that it climbs pretty well too because they had some pretty gnarly ramps at the skate park when we were jumping the other cars and i really wanted to see like what degree i could get this up before it did the old uh fall back you know the, the tumble as kevin talbot would say the tumble wumble but uh very cool little car this is the DE69. Now what we're going to do now, I'm going to set this guy right here. We're going to move from the ground to the air for just a little bit. Now I'm going to show you this DRC mini drone. Now this guy is cool and he actually impressed me because there's so many mini drones that you fly that you take them you take them outside and you get like a gust of wind and it's gone and you're running down the street wait for this your drone to hit something so it'll crash and you can recover it off the slightest breeze and it's like nothing more infuriating but this dude right here it has three different speeds you can put this on high and i had a thunderstorm rolling in and granted it wasn't incredibly breezy i don't want you to think that i'm trying to tell you that this thing can fight a hurricane but if it's, you know, if it's like a normal breezy day outside, you can fly this around, no problem. And it's also great for indoors. As you can see, it has all the prop covers and has the grates on it. So you can't stick your fingers into the propellers. I mean, you could slip a finger in from the bottom, but if you crash into somebody or something, you're not hitting it with propellers. It comes with two battery packs. So you're going to get, uh, I think it's around 30 minutes of flight time between the two packs. It's not per pack. So you're only going to get like 15 minutes per pack. But what's cool about this thing, if you want to trick your neighbors into thinking there's UFOs, this is the one. And did I mention too that it does have a 720p camera, so you can see what it sees with your phone and the app. You can actually fly around and use it like a little FPV drone and uh, check out the neighborhood. I wouldn't fly that far away. I'd just, you know, up and down the street. Don't fly over people's houses. They get really mad. Trust me. But uh, we're gonna turn this little fella on. Don't ask me how I know the neighbors get mad. They used to really get mad before they found out that I play with toys a lot. But here it is, look at fella right here. You can see it's LED, it lights up. You got green in the back, you got blue in the front. But what's really cool about this is you can control the lights from the controller. So you can switch the patterns, this nice alternating pattern. And this thing is extremely visible at night. You have a little rotation pattern. And then you have just the rear. And then you have off. So very cool little drone. It does hold altitude for you. So if you're flying and you leave it at a set altitude, now don't get me wrong, will it waver a little bit? Yes, but it will hold altitude. Dude, it's not going to just hit the ground or take off and fly away. It's going to stay within, a, you know, 12 to 18 inches of where you leave it height-wise. With that being said, this thing is not self-flying. It does not have GPS in it, so it is full manual. You do have to control it. So if the wind's pushing you this way, you do have to counter the wind. I don't want to make you think that it's going to just sit there on a windy day and you don't have to do anything. That's not the case at all. It is a, a very budget-friendly drone and uh if you look down on the thing it's only 34 dollars. it's 33.99 and you can get 15 percent off of that but as far as stability goes i'm going to show you right now i'm going to hit the auto takeoff button and it's either well it's not going to hit my hair i don't have any hair but um yeah. i bet you're wondering before we add that one to the blooper reel what'd you do wrong steve when you get these little drones like this any of these where i just messed up and a lot of people messed up when you power them up you set them on a flat surface okay because when it powers up it calibrates the self-leveling system on the inside and like me i was holding it sideways when i turned it on so it thought that sideways was level so it was trying to auto correct itself and that's why it almost hit me in the face but if it would hit me in the face at least it's got prop guards and i mean you can't mess up what's messed up so 
but we're gonna go ahead you, you just bind it when you turn it on you push the controller up then you push it down and you bind it we're gonna try to fly it again and if it flies straight in my face again i don't know what to tell you but we're gonna find out what's gonna happen and look at there Sorry about the noise on this little fella, but I just want you to see how controllable this drone is. I'm flying over a table that's only two feet wide, and I can almost just keep it in frame. And for a little manual drone, that's not bad. Y'all want to see a flip? Should we try to do a flip? Let's try it. I'm gonna eat this thing. I need a little room. To do a flip, you're gonna push the right joystick down and then push it in the direction you want it to flip. I'm trying to get it nice and level here. Hold on. Come on, let's do it. It knows I'm not in a good spot. Oh, it tried to do it. And if you turn it upside down, you can turn it off. As you see, I could just grab that thing no problem. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if I got a little out of hand. But it's it's a fun little drone. It's a good time. And if you have someone in the house that wants to learn to fly drones, this would be a really good one because you can crash into walls all day with this. It's super durable. You're not going to break this thing. And it comes with some extra parts as well. They're going to give you some extra propellers. They're going to give you a prop pulling tool in case one flies off. They give you the charger. You get the foam clip because you don't have to use the foam clip. You can pop that off and just stick this little stub on there and just fly it around like a manual drone. Like I said, you do have the option of using the little 720p camera in the front and you can cruise it around like an FPV drone. You can put it on in the house and annoy your family. That's what I do with that. I annoy my family with it. If you don't believe me, ask them. But uh, just a very fun little, little toy, a little beginner drone. Now, let's see here. We're going to put this little guy to the side. And we're going to skip off to the next item. What that's gonna be, what that's gonna be is this guy RC. And this is the GPS that I use, and I have it around here somewhere. I guess I should have been better prepared. But what it is. Oh, it's on the chart. Right here behind me. Okay, so here it is, the little fella right here. This is a Sky RC GPS. It's got three different modes. You have a track mode. You can put it in drag racing mode, which is basically it's going to give you your top speed and your acceleration. It does connect to your phone via an app, and you actually turn the device off and on with the app. There are no buttons on here. All you have is a charge port. Now, the first mode, like I said, was drag racing, and that way you can get your acceleration and you can get your speed. It has a fly, which that's going to give you your height, speed, g-force, some of those other readings. And then it also has a track mode, and it's going to tell you how fast, how far you went, where you went, all that type of information. So it's really cool. It just gives you, like I said, it'll tell you altitude, it'll tell you speed, it'll tell you distance and where you drove. It'll tell you how far you drove in that session. It'll, you know, g-force is altitude, speed. I, I mean, everything that you need to know about your RC, and you don't, you're, you really don't even need to know all that, but we all just kind of want to know that. That's why whenever I was jumping this little guy right here, little 302E, this little sucker here, 13 feet straight up in the air. I did it three times in a row, never landed at once, landed awkward angles every single time and had zero issues. Has everybody seen the 302E yet? Let me know. We'll revisit it real quick. And I got a little bit of extra time. It's only eight o'clock. 
But what the 302E is, this little RC car it comes with two different bodies. You get a clear one that you can paint yourself, and you have one that's already pre-painted for the decals and decorations. It is a four by four. And the way I recommend that you paint these is you can lay out your graphics and you paint them from the inside. You want to make sure you rub it down with some kind of alcohol so you know the paint sticks nice and well. But what's good about painting on the inside is when you paint these on the inside, if you scuff them up and scratch them, you're not scratching the paint, you're only scratching the plastic. So as you can see on this one, we crashed and crashed this one quite a bit yesterday. And the paint still looks great. The plastic worn for got some wear on it. But another way to paint these, which is how I'm gonna paint this one is, you paint the inside all silver. And then you paint the outside with a sacrificial paint, I call it, which you could paint a black, red, blue, green, whatever color, any other color, but silver. And what happens is when you're driving this and you go doing a roof skid, it's gonna take the paint off the top, but it's going to let the silver from the underneath shine through. And it's gonna make it look like you're taking real scratches. Like if you had a real car and you were taking real damage to the body and the paint, you're gonna see that. And it just makes for like a really cool patina look after a while. And no, I did not think of that. I saw that on YouTube. So if you're sitting there, oh, so-and-so does that. Well, I'm sure he did. And I probably learned it from him. I'm just passing on to you what I learned. But uh, this little guy right here, four wheel drive. It's got steel dog bones in the front and the rear. Steel differentials in the front and the back. Comes with two batteries. It's brushless. It does about 20 miles an hour. I've jumped to 13 feet in the air straight, like I said just a minute ago. You can upgrade the motor on this if you wanted to. It's got servos, an actual steering servo. You have your speed controller right here. You have the aluminum body shocks. These are anodized in green all the way around. These do not have oil in them currently you could probably put oil in them or they would be easy enough to upgrade to oil shocks as my uh, neighbor the rc true expert who races and things like that told me he was quite impressed with his vehicle and uh what's good about these little cars like this from drc is the parts are readily available you can get a lot of the motors and the servos and things like that you can get them on amazon they're already there for you to order in case you break something you can get a arms and shocks and things like that and in the rc world the parts that are on these are pretty common so even if it's not listed as a direct replacement for this i mean you might be able to upgrade to those parts or whatever i don't want to speculate too much but i'm sure you have more options but like i said with these cars they all come with a book and the book will have a full parts list in it just like that and it's got all the part numbers for anything that you might break or you may need. And all you have to do is you contact the phone number in the book, order your part, and they'll ship it right to you. So how cool is that? So like I said, this is a, a really fun little car. This is my new favorite one right here. So we're just going to call him favorite. But that's going to be all the cars that I have for you today. All these cars are by DRC. They did send them to me to show to you guys. And uh, like I said, my disclaimer is, even though they gave these cars for me to show you, I'm not going to sit there and uh, sweeten it up for you. I just try to demonstrate and show you what's there, and you can decide if it is the right purchase for you or not. I'm not going to try to talk you into anything, because if you return it, then I also return whatever money, whatever 50 or 75 cents I may have earned for you buying the car through one of my links. But super fun super cool drc they actually support their customers you can uh, get parts readily available they're fast they're not just toys they're more hobby grade and uh they also have toys like this one too so they have something for everyone they have 10th scale they have 8th scale they have all kinds of different sizes and shapes and models and hopefully one day i'll have them all and i can just sit here and go for three hours and show you every single one but like i said i do plan in the future i'm going to put together oh you like my headphones savannah you finally made it if you're still watching yeah these are my uh 30 special headphones because i couldn't get the um wireless ones to work so savannah is joining us from facebook but anyway i'm gonna wrap this up it was real good it was real fun i had a great time 
thank you guys for bearing it out and sticking with me and joining my live. And if you have any questions, I will be doing this again tomorrow or the next day or tomorrow and the next day, however it happens to work out. And till then, I'll see you guys next time.